On Monday Thursday, Pope Francis scrubbed the feet of 12 prisoners from his wheelchair. In 2015, the 87-year-old Pope, who frequently begs for mercy for prisoners, went to the Rebibia Women's Jail in the northeastern suburbs of Rome and carried out the same ritual there. But on Thursday, the Argentinian Jesuit dedicated his yearly Holy Week ceremony exclusively to women for the first time. The Pope, seated in a wheelchair, cleaned each prisoner's feet, some of them shedding tears, then patted them dry and planted a kiss. During a mass celebrated in the courtyard of the prison housing some 370 women, the Pope gave an impromptu homily and declared, We all have small failures, big failures. However, the Lord never grows weary of forgiving us and is always there to welcome us with open arms, he continued. A gesture that brings our attention to the vocation of service, explained Francis, who had already started visiting prisons while serving as a priest in Buenos Aires. The pontiff was beaming as he shook hands with the prisoners a short while ago. In England, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, also washed feet at St. Paul's Church in Maidstone, Kent. The Pope had to postpone a few public appearances last month due to an illness. He has requested multiple times for others to read his talks during his following recuperation. Holy Thursday is a Christian holiday that honors the day that Christ washed the Apostles' feet during the Last Supper. It is the high point of Holy Week, which honors the last moments of Christ prior to his Easter resurrection. The head of the Catholic Church has frequently visited jails and refugee centers since he assumed office in 2013. On Holy Thursday of last year, he went to a juvenile detention center and bathed the feet of twelve young men. He's scheduled to lead the Way of the Cross prayer session at Rome's Colosseum on Good Friday. Due to a bronchial ailment, he was unable to attend last year. Pope Francis appeared healthy as he reaffirmed his ordination vow and kicked off four busy days of festivities running up to Easter. Holy Thursday at St. Peter's Basilica, Francis, who had recently cut back on his speaking engagements due to exhaustion from episodes of influenza and bronchitis, read a lengthy sermon during the Mass of the Chrism. Additionally, he welcomed two grieving dads, whose tales Colum McCann, an Irish novelist, told in a 2020 book. The Pope mentioned that there were two fathers in the Paul VI audience hall of the Vatican, one of whom was Palestinian and the other Israeli. Abir, the daughter of Bassam Aramin, was assassinated by an Israeli soldier in 2007 as she was leaving her school, and Smatter, the daughter of Rami El Hanan, was slain in a Jerusalem attack in 1997. Colin McCann wrote the book, A Pyragon, which recounts the tale of the two men's friendship. McCann met Pope Francis on June 23, 2023, while attending an artist's audience. Let us consider the poignant testimony of these two people who have lost their daughters in the Holy Land due to conflict, the Pope remarked. Francis asked priests to avoid dishonesty and deceit, to be empathetic, and to acknowledge when they have strayed from the path of holiness during the service. Tomorrow, he will preside over an Easter vigil ceremony. On Easter Sunday, he will read his twice-yearly, Urbi et Orbi, speech and blessing to tens of thousands of people in the square below from St. Peter's central balcony.